Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Well, firstly, we want to say we're sorry that we have waited this long to upload another video. But to be quite honest, since the year of 2018 started, our lives have been crazy. It has honestly been chaotic and we, we couldn't find our feet. Like, we did not have time to film a video. And we're so sorry about that because we really wanted to, but it was just impossible. So in this video, we are actually going to tell you a little bit more about it all. Because we've noticed that when we were on our trip, like you guys obviously saw the videos of when we went to Tennessee and Washington and it looked amazing, you know, we, we really did have a lot of fun. But behind the scenes, we also were facing some struggles that were probably one of the most life-changing struggles that I've had in my entire life. So we want to kind of show you guys that even though our lives look perfect and it, it looked like we just had this amazing trip, you know, that's not always the reality. We are only just humans like you guys and we also face some struggles. So that's what we will be telling you guys about in this video. And Preston will be telling most of the story because yeah. although it happened to both of us, he was kind of the main character in the story. So yeah, we just want to share our hearts with you guys. All right, so as you know, this video is all about what we've walked through this past season. Uh, this past month, January, was one of the most challenging months. Uh, so a little bit go deeper in the background. I am a missionary to South Africa, and in the year of 2016, I got a visa to go there for 18 months, which is a year and a half. And so we knew that we would be coming and visit America in January, and that's how me and Monique has really been together because her family moved out to Cape Town and I was a missionary there. But we'll talk about that another time. But um, so I've been there for about a year, uh, a year, huh? Yeah, like a year. Yeah. And so the visa was expiring, uh, supposed to be this March, March 2018. So, but we knew we were leaving in November to come home and visit my family. And while I was here, I was going to go back up to Washington DC to the South African embassy to renew my volunteer visa for being a missionary uh, with Loftel International in South Africa. So we decided to do the big vacation trip and make that the opportunity to just drive up to Washington, knock out the visa, and then come back to Louisiana. Well, when we went to Washington, D.C. with the clips that you guys saw, during that time I went to the embassy to do my volunteer visa. And it, it was uh, quite a shock. The guy uh, basically told me that South Africa doesn't need volunteers anymore, that you are taking opportunity away uh, from the South Africans that need jobs, even though I'm not making money in South Africa, I'm just volunteering. And obviously that was a big shock because we spent months, or I did spend months getting the paperwork together to go back up there. It obviously cost a lot of money. Um, so that was uh, quite hectic when we found that out. I think I went like January 3rd or something. So that was during the time of our Washington DC trip. and. So that basically, our life did a 180. We had no clue what was next. I had personally no clue what was next in my life with, uh, as far as I guess you could say my calling and going to South Africa to be a missionary because that was my ticket back, my visa was the way that I get to stay in South Africa for a period of time. So then we just begin praying and seeing what was next and we came back home to Louisiana to go from there. So, we got back to Louisiana, and through all the confusion and frustration, obviously, of not getting it, and uh, basically we were hopeless at that point, but we decided to pray and move forward, and I went into a different direction to get a different visa uh, under the categories that they have that you can apply for. So we got back to Louisiana, and I got going with that, and we found a new way to get one. And so me and my brother just recently went back. Some of you guys that follow us that are family will know, but we just went back maybe like two weekends ago to go apply for another visa. And Monique stayed back and me and my brother went on a little trip to go do it. And so I applied that Monday and I went in and the guy denied me once again. Uh, and by then I was all sorts of confused. I had no clue what to do. Uh, actually, I really couldn't believe it at all because I had everything 
showing that I should be able to get this visa and get back to South Africa. So then he told me, you know, if you get this and this, come back and I'll give you it. So I rushed my dad overnight at some papers to my hotel in Washington, D.C., spent a whole bunch of money, and I went that Tuesday morning, and I had everything I could possibly have to do the next visa that he told me to do. And when I did that, he denied me once again. Um, so, yeah, so that's where we're at. Uh, it's just like now, I'm speechless. I couldn't believe it, you know, and fear and confusion and everything wants to grip you and you get angry. I know, I mean, I spent all this money to fly to Washington, D.C. to get denied once again. And not only denied, but he treated me pretty terrible and really was yelling at me and talking down to me. So it wasn't uh, the best. Uh, and obviously, when we got back, we were super confused times two. Uh, because now this is about four visa applications down and we haven't got a single one. Uh, but yeah, so that's sort of, you know, the little background of what's happened. Monique. Yeah, like, I mean, I don't know if a lot of people understand, like, how life-changing this is to us. Because, obviously, with Preston being an American and me being South African, you know, our story isn't like any other story, you know. It's kind of a little bit different. So, only now we're tr we're seeing all of the the crazy things that we're gonna have to go through just to be together you know and kind of for this year we had this plan we we had it all figured out you know I, we both were gonna go to college for three years and then um, in south africa in, in south africa you know get married get an apartment whatever but now like the lord is saying no you have these plans but i have a totally different plan for you and it's not always easy because we are literally living by faith at the moment. And obviously it's something we all pray for. Like, Lord, I want to live by faith. I want to be obedient to you. But when the time comes, it's yeah. like, uh, okay, wait, this is not what I, what I, what I, oh, yeah. <laughs> this is not what I asked for. <laughs> and I think um, one thing that, that you didn't say, but I think one thing through it all is even though the first time prison got denied, he was saying that, that when the guy told him yeah. that, sorry, you're, I, I'm denying you, you're not getting this. He had such a peace in yeah, his it heart. Yeah, was, it was really weird. It was like the very, very first time when we made the family trip up to D.C., he denied me. And he walked back to go make some copies. And obviously, I was like, okay, God, why did this happen? What is going on? What do I even do, you know? Because your first question is, why, why, why? But then it was all of a sudden, I felt the spirit of God just bring joy and laughter and I just started laughing and crying in the embassy room the interview room and it was just like God is saying don't worry I have a different direction everything's gonna be okay yeah. so even though confusion came and frustration came deep down our peace has never left because we know God is in control um, and so we just wanted to take this as an opportunity to share what we've walked through and and like we said, we came back to Louisiana, and then I went back to Washington, D.C. again. Uh, but if there's anything that we've learned, yeah, we're planning to get married and everything, that this has kind of been like a trying time for us, mm -hmm. you know, where, honestly, the flesh, you know, your human nature just wants to throw your hands up in the air and say, uh, well, I don't need this. I'll just live in America. You live in South Africa. But, uh, you know, through it all, God has built unity and brought us together closer to say, hey, you two can, you know, come together in unity because where there's unity, there's power and God commands his blessings. So through this, we've actually found joy in different, you know, ways, different places. And yeah. I can say me and Monique have become so close uh, uh, spiritually and grown in unity together so much to even prepare for marriage beforehand. Yeah. Uh, because walking through something like this, you guys, is not easy at all. I mean, you you start to question, am I ever going to be with her? Or am I ever going to be with him? You know, how's this going to work yeah. out? The family's there and my family's here. And all these different questions storm you. But through it all, like Monique was saying, that I experience and she experiences that our peace has never left us. Yeah. That uh, no matter what it is in Romans 8 and 28, now we're not turning this into a sermon, <laughs> but just what we've walked through and what we've held on to is that the word says that all things work together for the good to those that love God who are called according to his purpose. And just so we can encourage you guys out there that, you know, it might not be a visa application. It may be just something you're walking through in life that 
don't worry that God loves you and that whatever you're walking through, you're called according to his purpose, that yeah. he has a plan, he has a destiny on your life. And that no matter what it is, in the end, it's all going to work out together yeah. for the good. And our first question was, God, why'd you do this? You know, you, you want to question, you know, why, but God never does harm. That no matter if the situation may seem blurry and confusion, yeah. uh, we know God has something bigger and better in store. So through all this negativity that, you know, wants to swamp your mind and confuse you, uh, even though it was hard and difficult, we've stayed strong together in prayer and reading the word uh, and just having faith in God, knowing that everything's going to work out for the good to those that love him uh, because there's purpose on our lives and there's purpose on your life. So no matter what you're going through, you know, God's going to work it out for the good. You have anything? Yeah. I, um, that just made me think of like, through, through all of this, I, I read something one day and I might get it totally wrong, but it said something like um, you, you won't really know how to have faith until you have a reason to do so. And I think that was like the biggest thing that, I mean, there's so many lessons that we can take out of this, but I think yeah. that was the biggest thing that we really had to learn. Um, because I mean, the first thing that we want, that we were like, we were we were questioning God, you know, we were like, Lord, but why did you do this, you know? And through it all, we had to see God's hand in it. And yeah. we really did. I yeah. mean, like he was saying, we had such a peace through it all. And it was like, it was crazy because even people around us would be <laughs> like, oh man, I'm so sorry to hear that. You know, I'm praying for you, you know, but we would just be like, we don't feel like it's an attack from the enemy but rather just God taking us on a detour, you know, just he had something else in store and we just have to accept his will and be obedient for whatever it is. And to be honest, at this moment, we don't know what the future holds. We don't know, will we be in America? Will we be in South Africa? You know, it's, it's all very confusing still, but we just know, we just have a peace that God is in control, that this is God's will. And that he has us through it all, you know, he's taking care of us and we will never have lack, you know. And I also think um, this is building a very, very good foundation for our marriage. Like even yeah. before we are really married, we already have this foundation and we already learn what it is be like to work together, to pray together, to be in unity together, you know. And now we realize the importance of it because I can tell you that if it wasn't for for prison support and for us praying together, I would not have made it through this because oh, yeah. like before we would go into prayer, we would all, we would just, we wouldn't want <laughs> to pray. Honestly, we would not want to pray. We would just be like, oh no, I would just rather like just lay in bed and give myself a pity party. But after prayer, we feel empowered. We, we feel strengthened and we can feel that there's so much more unity. Like now he, he would think something and I would like, I would say it, you know, like we, we are so closely connected now. We, we've learned so much about each other and to support each other, you know, so it, it's difficult definitely, but we think that it will only benefit us in our marriage in the future, you know, so we're just taking it one day at a time and just seeing where the Lord leads us. So, yeah. so you may all be wondering, just like we are, what's next? Um, but obviously we had to reschedule our flights like I think twice now because uh, we were supposed to leave January 26th to go back to Cape Town. So all that kind of got 180'd in a different direction. But as of right now, we are just going off with what we do know and what we can do. And that is, unfortunately, <laughs> Monique is going back without me to South Africa on February 26th. And uh, I have to wait to go back. I think March 10th or 12th around there. So it's not too long, but uh, I'm going to be upset and cry <laughs> every day because she's leaving. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but I'm sure she's excited to get back to her family and everything. But <sighs> but anyway, that'll be okay. But then luckily I have my passport still, which is different than a visa. Most of you probably know, but I get to stay for three months in South Africa. And in that three months, we're kind of just going to seek God more and ask him to direct us to the plan. Like Monique said, it could be America, South Africa, Hawaii, who knows? Uh, but I get to stay three months, but then I must leave again after that three months. And then I can go back again for another three months, but that's all I can enter for the whole year. Uh, Cause you can only enter twice a year on your passport. So 
obviously the thoughts are, you know, running through our mind what we're going to do, but just to keep focus on God and, and what He's doing in our life. So that's kind of just what we're going through right now and walking through but through it all like we said god has been so great to us and so good and so faithful and has never left us uh uh without direction and what to do next but that's our steps forward it is unfortunate like i said that she has to go back without me but she's gonna get back and get planning our wedding yeah yeah uh that's coming soon in south africa so we're excited that through all this you know the feel like you're laying in a pile of mud and confusion. Uh, we're excited for what God is going to do uh, and that, you know, we really truly, uh, the excitement to impact lives through our story uh, that we could literally talk behind this camera all day and tell you everything. But we are going to start getting into more uh, about us and, and what God does in our lives uh, daily in our story. Obviously, we'll be coming out soon because we've just been posting vlogs and as you can tell, I'm the weird one out of the both of us and do crazy stuff all the time. But uh, we're going to start getting in more detail about our lives and let you guys in on that. But this was the first thing that we wanted to let you guys know why we've been so kind of not out there with the videos every week like we were doing. Because uh, we really did take a, a big hit with this and a big 180, but we truly believe it's God. Uh, just bringing a transition in our lives uh, to place us in his position Because yeah. uh, you know we can have these plans like Monique said you know the three years But God can change it around in a split second and we've yeah. seen that But through it all I've had my best friend <laughs> and it's been awesome Having her alongside of me and without her I would have probably fell apart <laughs> and her support so we're excited for what God is doing, but we want to thank you guys for all the love, yeah. the support, encouragement, and prayers. I did make a post on Facebook about it, but we wanted to release a video and really talk to you about it. And that God has really, really taught us a lot in this time. But I think it was necessary uh, because we definitely are very, very close and in unity for what God wants to do further in our life. So, you have anything? Um, yeah, we also just want to, um, like Kristen said, like in our next videos, we really want you guys to get to know us mm. um, because we want to kind of make it like a community, you know, we want to get to know you guys and um, so we are asking you guys to please comment down below. Um, we'll be posting this video on YouTube and on Facebook, but comment down below whether you're on YouTube or on Facebook. Uh, questions that you want to know about us. Yeah. We're going to be doing a Q&A video for the old timers that are watching, a Q&A is a question and answer <laughs> video. My word. <laughs> so uh, if you guys would ask us questions, we would love to answer them in our next video. Next video, so we need questions. Yeah, or and we it need it quick. So quick. yeah, as soon as we have a bunch of questions, we can make the video. So it's all up to you guys. Um, and then we would also just like to tell you guys to like and subscribe. Like and subscribe, <laughs> folks. Yeah. Thank you. We're growing really good. Yeah, we're really growing. well. Like we are well, getting we a bunch of subscribers every day, and we have like turned down for what? Was it like six k on our Afrikaans video? If you haven't checked it out, please go watch it. And um, as well as our Walmart video is doing really good. I think we have like five k or something. I don't know. Yeah. So. But it's we're doing really well, or we feel like we're, we're doing excited. well. We're excited. We're excited. So thank you guys for watching and remember, love God, love people, and, and love, love coffee. coffee. <laughs>